there, but no one really kind of showed or talked about kind of what I wanted to see. So I was just, I was just like, yeah, oh, filling a niche. Like, That's a good yeah. idea. Like, there's a few really big flight sim channels out there where they'll they will review stuff and stuff like that, but they don't go into really any detail. I, I don't know how, like the technical detail. They, I get to see what I want to see then, right? So it was just. Uh, don't stand in front of me, by the way. I may accidentally shoot. Roger that. I'm behind you. Okay, that's good. I just got to make sure everything's ready to go. Uh, hopefully, I don't get any lag issues, and we should be fine. Yeah, I'm oh, good no. to go now. What? Hang on, hang on one second. Uh, I just uh, I'm trying to load up this. Um, hang on, just one second. That oh no makes me feel not good. <laughs> no, my grenade launcher, I only have smoke, which kind of sucks. Alright, that's alright. I think I grabbed the wrong loadout. That's okay. Oh, they fixed the uh, the Armat loadout. I'm so happy now. I don't have to grab stupid PCML missiles now. Yeah, no, the Titan's the way to go. It's just if you get close with the Titan, it can be tough. Don't have uh, I've gotten pretty close with the Titan and got away with it. Oh, you should have... Um... Were you there when we were taking... Yeah, you were there. I don't know if you were there at the beginning, but a tank came up on a hill, and uh, it got right up in our faces, and I had to take it out. And we got it. Nice, nice. No, I wasn't there for that. I think I came in afterwards. Is that when you and Rag... Um, uh, Rubs, rather, I should say? Uh, we... uh, me, Rubgotti, uh, Rebel, Persona, a few other people. Yeah, that was a good night. That was, that was wicked. Yeah, I missed that though. I missed the tank thing. I must have come in after. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah, no, you demoed the tank afterwards. Was that the one? Oh, yeah, that's right. But that was a VOP. So, yeah, you hit that before I came in. And then. Okay, I'm wondering if I can just do this. What's up? I'm trying to bend down the grass so I can get a good shot. Oh, that's cool. I don't have visual on anyone just yet. I have visual, it's just this damn grass is in my way. I have the base, I just don't see anything. Uh, else. bearing 311, three man patrol moving, uh, oh, four man patrol moving right to left. Roger that. I'm gonna try to take, visual. I'm gonna try to take out the man in the back. Yeah, he's a, looks like he's a rocket. Okay. Alright, firing. There we go. He's down. I'm trying to take out the back guy. What range are you shooting for? Uh, it's like between four five hundred, and I'm giving them a lead, like a bit of lead. He got hit. He's just, no, he's just wounded. You know what? Oh, I got him. All right, okay. no, is he bandaging? He might be bandaging. I'm gonna skirt left here into that tree line. Okay, I'm gonna I'm cover it. Shit. Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm trying to figure out where that's coming from. Sh should I throw some smokes? Yeah. Oh, you're hit. It's almost like he's shooting through the fence. Here, uh, okay. Here, yeah, let's you, back it's up. okay, you keep, uh, keep working. I, I got this. All right, I'll bandage it. I'm gonna try to get somewhere better. Roger that. This is good. Once I get this grass out of the fucking way, I can take a few shots. Only problem is I can't look at my thermal. Hey, Dag, just uh, where'd you go? I'm on the left. I'm on the right side of the hill. Uh, to your right side. I I'm just looking for a better position to shoot from. All right, copy that. I'm gonna skirt left to those uh, trees there. Copy that.
Fuck, these guys are coming up on my right side. Uh, if I'm not... If you don't hear Jay respond to what I'm saying, I'm probably talking to whoever's in chat. And I'm not the best shot, obviously, as you might be able to tell. These fuckers, where are they going? Oh, shit. They know where I am. They've got eyes on me. But one contact down, I'm just moving away from this hill. Copy that. Usually we use something called radio protocol, which I suck at, where uh, we'll say like, oh, uh, Jay, this is Dag. I should have brought some medical stuff. Contact, blah, 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 blah. Another contact down. Wow, I'm actually doing g way better than I usually do. Usually this Copy guy's like me. They seem to be pulling up on the right side of the compound to try to get at us. Alright, copy that. I'm just having a hard time seeing, that's all. Yeah, it's the grass here is pretty annoying. I'm gonna still work left. I'm gonna keep an eye on my right side, that's where they're coming up to try to shoot at me. I'm gonna reload. I'm in the trees to the far left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna keep working left, I'm gonna try and get towards that entrance. Copy that, I'm just gonna make sure they don't flank us from the right side. Alright, copy that. That's a stupid weapon. I have eyes on the entrance. Copy. I think that might be JT. Fire. It's a fucker right there. Are you taking fire, Jay, or is that you firing? A little bit. Not sure if that's actually the guy's head or not. No, he's running. So he is taking shots from me. Stand still, you can't. One contact down near the entrance, um, but I got hit pretty good. I'm gonna. Stand st still, you fucking cunt. You're gonna get it. Yeah, fuck you, you son of a bitch. No, you're not gonna get me. Ha! Bastard! Take that fucking shit, you cunt. God, I'm such a fucking foul mouth. Is that a contact there? Yep, yeah, that's a contact. Fuck. Ah oh, fuck, I shouldn't have reloaded there. Hey Jay, I'm dead. <laughs> That's cool, buddy. I got yeah, four of them. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I got I got one guy up near that entrance. Uh, but I got shot from a guy. I'm just I'm making a custom loader. I decided to reload on top of the hill like an idiot. That's all right. Yeah, uh, well, learn from it. Once I get in that compound, we'll, we'll be alive, but I just gotta get into it. I'm gonna grab some AP ammo. I'm just gonna get some med stuff. I can fire from above that radio tower. That would that'll be perfect. 
Although I'll, I'll I'll save some for you. I won't kill them all. <laughs> no, it's okay, man. You do what you gotta do. Why can't I take the AP map? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm surprised this isn't lagging like crazy. Okay. Alright, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm just about ready. So I get um I should take a few more bandages in this one. You alright? All yep. right. I'm surprised I'm not lagging from streaming this. No, you're pretty good. It might be in, like in the vehicle, like in the uh, ATV. It might be a little bit. Um, Some sometimes when I uh, like I tried to record the last stop and it didn't go very well. No, no. Shit. I I was thinking about waiting until the next set of missions, anyways. That's alright. So I got some, uh, I got medical stuffs, if we need it. That didn't happen. <laughs> That's all good. These things turn on a dime. Yeah, they're twitchy, man. They're really twitchy. Uh, so what were you saying, sorry? Oh, I just I got some medical stuff, uh, if we need it. And a bit more ammo. Alright. Yeah, bye. So are there any other games other than Arma that you play, like, Pretty much often? Pretty flight sims, man. Like, uh, it's Arma and, um, like, Flight the Max and Prepared, uh, that's really it. I have uh, a game called Steel Beast, which is like a tank simulator. It's not very graphic, like, it's, or, the graphics in it aren't very good, but it, it's, very, it's pretty realistic. Um, other than that... Oh, a Seto Corsa, a car racing game. That's about it. That's that's. I just listed everything off for the most part. What I have. <laughs> uh, this might be a personal question. I'm not sure because I've never asked anyone this. But uh, were you in the Canadian Armed Forces? No, no, I never was uh, in the army. But um, I do. I'm a. I'm a, a policeman up north here. I'm a, one of our use force trainers. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, it's really, really good. But. Uh, yeah, so I know I just know from that, that's it. Yeah, I've, I've not been in the military or anything like that either. I'm only 21. I haven't done all that much in my life yet. No, I still got tons of time, man. Don't worry about that. There's um, a few guys, like I think so Sophie's still in the military, I think, uh, in the reserves. And, and there's a few guys that have been in Bruce. Um, or Roblox, he was, I believe, and he does, like, uh, security now, like, um, at a nuclear power plant, if I'm not mistaken. There's a few guys with a little bit of, a little bit of wheel time, so it's good. Have you ever heard of a game called War Thunder? No, I have Really? Uh, if you're interested in flight sims and tanks and stuff, you might want to take a look at that. It's a free game, too. I will, absolutely. That sounds good. From what I've seen of it, it looks pretty good. Getting some lag here. Oh no. No, I stopped. Uh, are you okay? Can you still hear me? Uh, yes I can. Can you hear me? Hello. I got teleported. Where, where are you? 
I uh, like someone that doesn't exist. It's just all white. I think uh, that um, teleport thing happened again. That's okay. Well, I wasn't lagging, so hopefully it wasn't me this time. No, it might have been me. It. Uh, it's all right though. It's no big deal. Hang all right. You think you can make it to oh, the yeah, hill? Oh yeah. Yeah, no problem. You keep going. I'll operate up there. Man, I hope I'm not just like randomly teleporting people to different places. <laughs> it's all right. It's not a big deal. It's just stuff like that's bound to happen. The amount of stuff that's going on, I, you know, it's it's all good. Four column. Did you hear that? I did. Okay. A little pop. Fall back. No. Uh, form column two. There? Fall back. I I'm here. Do you hear me? Hello? Uh, Jay, do you hear me? Okay, we're just gonna work on the assumption that Jay can't hear me right now. I'm gonna... Oh. Can you hear me? Uh, can... Yes. Uh, okay, I just had the same thing that uh, Persona had. I lost the in-game sound, so I just gotta restart my number. Okay. I'm oh, just yeah, gonna rain so... death on these guys. Yeah, hammer them. Well, this thing's gonna flip. Ah, oh, you bastard! It's ready for the fucking missile, you goddamn cunts! You're gonna get it now, you fucking bastards! Let's see, where yet? Over there. Eh? All right. So I need to aim a bit up. Oh, I forgot to put my earplugs in. You ain't here, shit. God damn it. Oh, good hit. Hmm. That guy's bandaging up. Let's let them run over there. But before we do that. No. Get your plugs in. And fuck you cunts. To rally up. To rally up. Boom. And they all fall down. I've got an AT as well. Probably won't do any damage. But let's try. <laughs> God, this is too overpowered. Okay, uh, looks like one, two, at least two are still up. Two in the <laughs> compound. Uh, Jay, can you hear me? Jay, do you copy? Yep. Uh, uh, two contacts are left up. Copy that. God, that's crazy. Uh, would you, if you haven't left yet, would you mind uh, putting a few more uh, rounds, uh, Titan rounds in the quad? Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Now, I'm assuming I range from here to there is about one kilometer. So, zoom in. We rest our weapon and we look for some of these motherfuckers. Is that a vehicle? I don't think that's a vehicle. It's sort of cheating to do this because uh, they don't really respond very well to long range attacks. I remember uh, we were doing a clear of a town and a bunch of guys came out of a building and started shooting up at us so we were pretty far away so I shot an AP missile down at them took out maybe two of them but I didn't expect to take out like five oh there we go okay
What is the range on this fucker? Hmm, okay, let's let's try to shoot there and see what our where it hits. Hmm, I'm not seeing the splatters. It's probably the scope I've got. Try to take a few more shots of this guy and then... Yeah, I'm not seeing dust trails. Well, in that case... I guess I'll just keep watch. So there you go. Anyone who's ever been... Like, ah, oh, fuck the police, fuck, fuck them. The nicest guy I've ever met, and he's a policeman, so fuck you guys. It's probably too early for anyone to watch this. Oh, that guy's teleporting around. What does the wind look like? Perfect. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit these guys from here. Jay is gonna fuck these guys up in CQC though. He's the best I've seen at just clearing buildings and shit. I do it and I get shotted. He does it and he just destroys. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna wait for Jay to get here. Repack mags. Uh, can I do that? Yeah, I think I can repack magazines. Select mag. Takes a while. Six full mags and 11 extra rounds. Okay. I'm on my way. Copy that. I'll be waiting for you. So now we just do a little bit of waiting. We're waiting for Jay to get here. Two guys are still up for my count, but I might do another one with thermal. Three AP rockets is three dead, or a shit ton of dead fuckers. Bunch of dead Russians. Not that I have a particular problem with Russians, they just happen to be the bad guys in this game. Two up. No vehicles. Oh. There's a third fucker. I didn't see you before, little little man. Hmm. I doubt I'm gonna be able to hit him. Ooh. Let's say about six hundred meters. Yeah, I'm just assuming he's down now. And we might as well repack mags again. Takes a bit longer because the mags aren't evenly spread out now, so we might get like four mags and some odd extra bullets. Yeah, five mags and 16 rounds. It's better to have full mags than empty ones or half filled ones you start shooting and you're dry halfway th through what you would normally shoot through no way no thank you sir he's down this one still over there and the other one 
Hmm. Not sure where the other one went. Some of those guys in the middle might not even be dead because some of them fell over qu quite a while after. They might just be unconscious. But the AI doesn't seem to medically care for their own yet. Yeah, there's one, two. I should get a range finder. Thermal is so good. I see the radio tower. I'm not too, too far. Copy that. Uh... You're sort of already here. Copy that. Just looking uh, for the path to get up there. Y your dead corpse just randomly appeared. <laughs> Let's see if we can spot Jay. He's probably going to be coming. Oh, is it on the back of your ATV? Yeah, he just appeared. And I've never felt this way before And I swear This could be real And I owe it all to you I've been waiting for so long For someone to come along And stand by me I don't hear his ATV That means he could be far away from me You know Here he comes Hey. Hey. Here you go, AT and APs in the back. Awesome. And I brought some extra bags. Man, you laid some smack on that thing. That's cool. Yeah, the, they, I don't think I want to do that. That was too overpowered, man. What's that? The, uh... the AP missiles. I shot one and I took out two. And then I shot the second, and seven guys fell down. Hey man, that's okay. Clean them up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. If, if that was during an op, I'd have no problem doing that. But it just feels a little cheap from this far away. There's two guys left. There was a third patrolling, so there might be more. But I took out the third one with uh, shots from here. Nice. Um, yeah. I think I can see the one guy. Yeah, there's one guy on the left and there's one guy on the right. I don't think either of them are alerted right now. No, yeah, the one guy's just stumbling out. The guy outside the gates right now, bearing 327. Okay, got him. And the other guy is... I don't know where. Oh, so how do we how do we want to mop this up? Just go down. Yeah, you can go down. We can work. If, are you cool with working through that like the forest? There? There's even like a little path. We can also go right down that road, and then uh, we can get this first guy there at three two seven, and then we can sneak in, clear up the compound, and look for that other guy. Sound good, Dean? Yep, I'm just putting suppressors on, just in case. Oh, that sounds cool. Would have been cool to do this in one life, but you know, whatever. No, nah, that's alright. That's alright, it's good all. I'm wondering if ballistically if ATM takes like uh some ballistic like energy away from the round while using a suppressor. Because a lot of games I find do that. But it's actually not realistic. Yeah, doesn't the suppressor makes the bullet go faster? No, it doesn't do it doesn't do anything to the bullet. The bullet should be identical, like the velocity and everything will be identical. Uh, as it is without a suppressor. All the suppressor does is uh, that muzzle blast basically gets some expanded and cool inside a bunch of like, baffles in the, in the suppressor, and that's it. There should be... Uh, but you, like, I remember the old Rainbow Six games, they used to make, if you used a suppressed weapon, it wouldn't be as powerful. But that's, it's, uh, that's unrealistic. That's a fallacy. That's like a Hollywood thing. Hmm. But yeah, it should be... Uh, it should be identical. 
I th I think it's actually faster in this game. Is it they made it actually faster? I don't know. Uh, it seems like it. Rebel was talking about that. I don't remember exactly what he said. Yeah, it's, it's they do goofy stuff in video games. I find sometimes, but it should be identical. It should be. Well, the guys who make this game made it to be realist, so I doubt it does anything. Yeah. It's not like America's Army. Yeah, <laughs> I tried that once years ago. I've never tried it. Well, I'm sure it's a totally different game now. Which was the path? It's this one in front of us, the paved one. The paved one? Right. Yeah, I'm still not used to this. Yeah, the desert was nice. It was a lot easier to pick out targets. Uh, I guess it wasn't really a desert, but there wasn't as much grass. Yeah, this is it's pretty heavy on the foliage. I, I liked being able to just lie down, rest my weapon, and, you know, perfect shots, but now I gotta try to maneuver my way around the grass. It takes a bit of work. Yeah. One thing I've realized by playing this is I, I like when I used to watch videos of people playing Arma, I always thought they were really great shots and stuff. Now I just realize they shoot a bunch of bullets and hope they yeah. hit. No, for sure. Oh, here's that raw. Okay, here we can go down to the uh, down the left here. So that guy's gonna be right around here somewhere. Yeah, unless he went back into the complex. Uh-oh, I lost Jay. You are right, Dag? Uh, yeah, I'm following you. Can you hear me? I'm keeping my guns up in this situation. Could be bad if this guy catches us unaware. See, I just watch that right side. He'd be out stumbling around here. That big uh, hill is in our way. Oh, perfect. Jay knows what he's doing. He's a smart guy. Especially tactically. I've seen this guy do some crazy shit. I mean, I haven't even been around that long and I haven't seen him do that much shit, but he's done some crazy ass shit. He's got guns up now. I'm gonna keep red dot out instead of. Uh... He's going uh, right to the right Yeah, I, I see him moving in. I'm a bit fatigued carrying the rocket launcher around, you know. Copy. I'll watch the back. Awesome. So how long have you been in the police business? I just got my 10 year pin um, not long ago, last month. Yeah, it's been really good. You still there? Yeah. Oh. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> no, that's all right. no, I didn't. Not sure what questions to ask. I don't know a lot of people. 
um, in like actual businesses and jobs and stuff, you know. That's alright. They're young yet, right? There's tons of time for for careers and whatnot. To figure something out. So did you have like uh, have you always been a police officer where you were, or did you uh, like transfer or anything? Yeah, no, I started where I am, um, and uh, I started. Yeah, I started right out of college, pretty much. To, I got lucky. Was it was it hard to become a police officer, like uh, learning all this stuff and going to the schools and stuff? It was. I wouldn't say it was terribly hard. What it was was just long. Like it was challenging. Contact. There's one beside us right the now. Sun's, yeah, the sun. Now he's down. The sun's right now. I'm throwing a grenade over top of the uh, the wall. That's right. Are you just gonna cut out? <laughs> nice. Grenade kill for you. Uh, he might not be dead. Oh, now he is. Now he's dead. All right, let's go maybe your direction there that way, and uh, we'll go through the entrance. Have you ever heard of a town called Windsor? Yeah, I know Windsor too. Uh, my uh, my last roommate uh, is from Windsor, and uh, he said he was really pissed off with uh, how much criminals and stuff there is in the city, and uh, he decided to go to school for police work recently. I'll get for him. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty busy city, I'd imagine. All right, so if you when you enter, if you go right, I'll go left. So okay, whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, good to go. And then just try. Uh, you don't want to go too deep, but yeah, use the sandbags. Here. Yeah, we're taking fire from across the compound. Oh, I don't even know where it's coming from. Hang on, I got hit real quick. Hang on a second. Bandaging. All right, I'm gonna stay here. Uh, once you're done bandaging, I'm going to run over to the right side. Copy that. Stand by one. I'll give you cover. I'm gonna drop a smoke on us. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, it's just a long process. Yeah. Okay, I am going to go. Now I'm going. Copy that, gotcha. We're taking fire from the right side as well. I'm running left. If this guy sees me, I'm screwed. I think I got eyes on him. Yep. Nope. Shit. You still up? Uh, affirmative. I'm not sure where I'm taking fire from though. Contact down. Oh shit, this is bad. This is bad. Con coming at you. Uh, careful coming at me. There's not a lot of cover and there's lots of shots. Copy that. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek out the left side of this compound. I think a lot of the guys who I thought were dead in the middle aren't actually dead. I wonder if we can get in this thing. Another, another one down. Roger that. I'm standing up over top of you. Don't stand up. Ooh, wow. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, bearing 40, there's a hole in the sandbag wall. Bearing 40. Got him. Oh. He's in behind the trees, but I'm just. I think he might be down.
I'm keeping an eye on that opening. Roger that. I'm gonna go switch back left now. Copy. Nice thing about this AGM mod, you can rest your weapon on the corners of walls. Helps with the aim so much. I would have shot that guy, but he had me beaded. The AI is really good at aiming in this one. Yeah, I'm moving around the building now. Where are those shots coming from? There's uh there's a contact just ran uh past uh from the left to the right side of this wall. Uh he's behind those trees covering there. Okay, I got gotcha. And I had to move cuz he had me flanked. Gotcha. I'll keep eyes on it though. Oh, yeah. He's he's behind the bush covering. If we want to move over to those sandbags and that uh, bunker over there, that might be a good spot to get eyes on. Yeah, let's do that. Here, I got you covered on the left. Alright, I'm moving. Go ahead, just radio set. This could end badly. They're taking fire. Keep going. Alright, give me some cover coming at you. Where the fuck are these fuckers? They're not hitting me when I'm looking out the the right side there, so. All right. Shit, someone on the left. Hang on. I almost want to go. I'm gonna go further left, like by that big bulb, that radar tower. And okay, just tell me when you're about to run, and I'll start uh, covering you. All right, I'm gonna go now. Okay, go. Fuck is this guy? I'm here. Copy that. I don't have eyes on the contact. That. I'm looking, I just don't know where he was shooting from. I'm gonna keep moving left. Copy that. I'm gonna stay here for now. Yeah, hang there. I'll flank around. There's still the guy who ran back this way. This could be a really bad flank on my side. There's more guys here than I thought. And I could always pull out my AT and get a look, but there's a risk that comes with that. Uh, they might be inside one of the barracks buildings. Doors are open in the barracks. Copy that. I think that's where they are. I'm I'm worked my way around to the left here. I'm almost past this radar. Okay. Where are these? And it sounds like you got someone shooting on the right. Like you're. Right. I. Where the frank are these frankers? Contact down. The one on Copy that. I'm gonna start making a move to your position. Alright, Roger that. I'm actually at that, that leftmost barrack. I'm gonna try and give you. Where am I taking fire from? Additional contact. How you doing? 
Uh, I'm just sitting here by the crashed helicopter trying to get eyes on from underneath it. Copy that. Third contact, maybe fourth now down. They're in the buildings here. We're gonna have to clear the. Uh, moving over towards the satellite bulb now. Alright, Roger that. I am like left of there uh, on the first, like leftmost. It's a white colored barracks building. It's here in this back corner. Switching the full auto. Uh, Jay, I see you. I'm behind you. I'm right behind you, Jay. Oh. Can you hear me now? Uh, copy that. Yeah, I did something to my team speak somewhere just happened, but I'm good now. I'm back up. Alright, so the, I put down one guy here by those brown sandbags, and then another guy at that darker gray building on that staircase with the orange guardrail. Uh, one down there at the base of the stairs. He came out of that building. And then there's a, another guy out, way out across the uh, field underneath those trees. There were a lot more guys over here than previously thought. Yeah. So I'm thinking, let's clear, maybe clear this building. We'll go building to building, sort of thing. Yep. So the way I don't know how you. There's really no set way that we really train. We're actually talking about uh, training, <laughs> like doing CQB or building clearing. But here, what I was taught and what I teach, um, uh, uh, like frontline officers for IRD, is um, when we open this door, whoever's going first, uh, and we're crisscross. Like this changes things what would work better here because we're crisscross we're on either side of the door is say I'll go first I'm gonna go straight ahead and to your left like down that wall and yep. you just need to be like right on my ass and just like almost cross and you're gonna dig this corner my right deep corner but you just gotta get in there quick because my back's gonna be exposed to that make sense yeah anyway once you dig the corner like you can identify like the, the left and the right is clear or like your the deep side's clear then you just basically fan uh, towards the center of the room, and our, our muzzles should like almost cross. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. Set. Yep. Here we go. Well, of course I just fucked it up. But anyway. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. Stairs and armor. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> There's contact. There's contact right over here. I didn't know re know if I could shoot through that or not. Yeah, no, that's okay. All right, left side's clear. Just gonna put one or two more rounds in them. Oh, these are AAF. These aren't even CSAT. Yeah, and just uh, maybe I'll check those holes. All right, so that didn't. Yeah, they're clear. Uh, sort of did. We didn't die. Sort of. All right, so if you okay, here, here's a better example. So if we're on the same side, which really is where you're going to be, so if you're first guy in, see how you can see kind of straight ahead, you just walk into the door. So there's, yep. no point in you, there's no point in you going left, right? Because you can already see kind of, a little, uh, you can see more of it. What you want to, what's unknown to you is what's in this right corner. That'll be the most dangerous corner. So when you go in, you're literally going to bucket, bucket, button hook around and dig that right corner. You don't need to put your muzzle into it, just as long as you can see it's clear. And then you're going to fan your muzzle back to the center of the room. But as soon as you go in, then I'm going to go in, I'm going to take the left. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so go ahead. Yeah, just like that. The only thing I would suggest is when you button hook is, is uh, be close to the, the door jam so that I can go through the left, that's all. That was alright. Okay. That's cool, really cool. Good job. Yeah, these doors and stairs are kind of suck, but... These rooms are clear. Hold up a sec. Yep.
Thought I heard movement. Alright, so let's just find a building we're going to go next. Which I guess is going to be this gray one here. I guess we can bound there. So I'm going to hit the... Ooh. Yeah, they're on right side. Bullets hit your left wall, so they're coming from right. Right on. I think... I see. No, nope, that's not where he is. Stand by. Okay, I can't see. He's on a balcony. Hold up. Stay there. I'm going to move all the way back around. Balcony of the center gray building on the right hand side of it. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, I can't take shots on them from here. Yeah. I think there might be more than one contact. Yeah, I think so. Alright, uh. So are you behind him to the left? I, uh, I'm in front of the building now by the sandbags. Shit, he's on the, the roof. Wow. The roof of which building? That gray building. He's down, he's down. I hit him in the head. No. Are you ready for something a little drastic? Yep. Now he's down, he's down. Okay. Drastic is... Pulling back the drastic measures. I'm out of the sandbags now. Here, let's go take this uh, gray building right here. So here's a good one. So <clears throat> we can make entry, and so we have a room here to our left. So because I'm the first guy in, I'm going to dig deep left, and you're going to go right into the right, okay? Yeah, so that room's clear. And yeah, basically our muzzle should... Oh, I was supposed to come in that room too? Yeah, typically what you'll do is... Well, it, I mean, everyone does things something different when I'm So here, you would go deep, deep right, and I'd go shallow left there. And other room's clear. Oh, okay. And... It's easier if I was able to draw. So same thing, you'd, just, you'd go deep right, and I... Well, uh... Is that a dead guy? Yeah, that's a dead guy. I killed him. The same, same thing. So when you can't actually, if you stay there, it would look like this, like you're back into that back corner. So I'm the and just kind of look at the door. If I was the first guy in, and I'll go slow. If I was the first guy in. I was talking, but I wasn't holding my mouse button down. Hang on a second. So yeah, so first guy in. I would kind of come in and button hook around and dig this deep corner, it's empty, and then I'd come back and meet the center room. So that's it slowly. And then for the second guy, because <clears throat> the first guy can see this, where you're standing in that corner, and his most dangerous spot is in that deep right corner. The second guy, he's going to clear this left corner that's not visible. So he's just going to come in, identify this corner as empty, and then sweep the room back to center. And that's it. That's how, that's, it's, it's simple. Okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. It's, it's just something. We don't do anything officially or anything like that. We're talking about it, but it'd be something similar to that. Well, it's good to know just for, like, purposes like that. Yeah. Keeps me alive. I appreciate it. I came here to learn. Oh, yeah. It's, it's worked for me so far. It's, it, it does work. So, like, even, like, this room, because we're on the left side of the door here, 
for this room, my blind corner, my biggest blind corner would be this deep left side. So what I would do is I would dig in and go left, and then it's empty, then I just come back to side. Okay, so you just got to recognize which corner is the most dangerous. Yeah, the first guy's always digging the deep corner. So basically, if the door's on the right, he's going to go right. If the door's on the left, he's going to go left. Yeah, pretty much, and then I would go this way. There you go. Okay, yeah, I think I got the hang of that. Yeah. Here. We'll do this one here. Another on open door here. That means someone might have walked through there. Is this door open for you? No, uh, back here. Uh, entryway door. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. Let's get so, yeah, shit out so of me. Like here, so in this stack, so you'd be behind me, right? So stack right up behind me. And always be in that, like, like looking down your red dot uh, for building stuff. Yeah. So the gun's always up. So I open the door and I'd enter. I'm going to go deep right. Deep right's clear, then I fan the left. And this is how it should look. So you can, yeah, this, that's exactly how it should look. And we're both kind of, we're both in these opposite corners, and our guns are pointed. I'm pointed to that corner over there, and you're pointed to this corner. That's basically it. That's where I'm pointing. Then the first okay. guy just goes deep. If you're on the same side. If you're on opposite sides, then you can crisscross, because it might be faster that way. But it's, it's just, like, there's nothing official. Because no what, what you did just there, that was my death during the first stop. That's exactly what happened, except he got me first. Because my, my, I wasn't in scope. Right. Um... And I just sort of walked in, and as soon as I saw him, uh, I tried to back out. I think that was my big mistake. Yeah, no, you gotta commit. Because if if you try and back, and there's another technique, but the, the, and I can tell you about that too. But yeah, if you try and back out for that technique, like the button hook coming in, um, you're just all you're gonna do is you're gonna stifle yourself up here in this like fatal funnel of the doorway. So. If, if you're gonna if you're gonna do this button hook in, so say say I'm guy number one, you're just observing. I'm already committed. I need to. I can't stop here. I need to take this corner. And if there's a guy here, like so center in the room, I would just do the same thing except I'd be then take the corner. Uh, and then the next guy in would come in probably and take the corner. Um, and that's basically that's basically how it, you'd get more firepower into this room with that button hook. There's another method that's probably safer. Um, it's just a bit more technical. If you come out here and stack up behind me, and this they call this method <laughs> the bitch method. It's a brass in the crack house ball. And what you do is, I'm not going to enter the room. What I'm going to do is cut the pie around this door. So my point of aim is going to be right here on this right side of the door jam, and I'm going to cut the pie into the room and cut all the way around. Once I do that. The reason I the reason I could do that is then I, if there was an engagement, um, I'd be fighting from from the hallway. So I'm not tied up in the doorway. I'm not like stuck here, and I and wide open. I could be fighting from the hallway and using this wall as a bit of cover. Uh, but anyway, so I could I'd cut the pie if I saw the target, get into my gunfight in the hallway. But then once he's down, I continue to cut 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 clear. Once I'm here. Um, give the signal to your your second guy in the stack which is you and uh, and it'd be like go 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 or if you want to be silent what, what we do for silent is we raise a gun up so like I, it's like raiding the gate but in arma that's in real life in arma <clears throat> it's a bit tougher what you could do potentially in arma is drop the gun down now that's a code to you you go straight across into the deep left corner I come in right behind you and take the deep right oh take over you hit? You're good? No, I'm good. Uh, yes, hold tight. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. But I'm gonna reload. Maybe back out of this room here. I don't know where that's coming from. Hang on. <clears throat> Alright, uh, look at this door here. I just make sure there's no one in here. Oh, I got eyes. Alright, take it. Uh, bearing 119, he's got eyes on the window I'm on. Okay. Maybe try one of the other windows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover this door here. Okay, there's someone in this room. I don't want him popping out. This room's clear. Sorry, what was the, what was the bearing again? 119. Copy that. At least I thought I had eyes on. Oh, I got him. Was it 119? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I need to 
Whoa, oh, contact me door, contact me door. Yeah, he's down. It's right there, out the door. Taking more shots from uh, yeah, right, right side. It's a good thing they let you finish your lesson, because we might not get out of this. <laughs> if we, uh, I think if we turtle hard in here, we might be able to get out of this. There's only a few entrances. I think so. Here, I'm gonna. If you hold the base, I'm gonna clear upstairs, make sure there's no one upstairs. And I'm gonna okay. shut some of these doors. So this door here on the, uh, your right is shut. One upstairs. Oh, copy. Doors upstairs, there was someone up here. They might have left though. Yeah. Hopefully. You know you know a lot of stuff. Uh, a little bit. This is sort of stuff I was expecting to learn uh BCT. Well that's one of the things we're like we're talking about an EAC is is um, kind of refining a few things, and uh, it's just, but everyone has a, has a different thing. On. I'm more buildings and whatnot, so it's, um, that's kind of the idea. That's just clear. Yeah, Rebel was talking about how you guys were talking about having training nights. I think that'd be a really good idea. Yeah, and, like I never, my big thing was I didn't want to make anything mandatory. It'd be more like a, hey, if people want to have fun kind of trying to tactic out. And we can see if it works for us, right? Because a lot of stuff in real life maybe won't work in armor, but some stuff might. So it's kind of one of those, it's one of those things. But, um... Yeah, that's a very basic, like, impromptu. Depending on the size of the room and how many guys you have, um, there's things that the guys have to do too. Like, there, there's, it's, uh, I don't know, there's, once, you, once people start getting used to doing something, then it, then it kind of just happens naturally. I think this one's good. This building, I think, is good. Hey, you I could, I could do something really crazy right now. I'm not sure if it would work. What's that? I could climb a ladder right now. <laughs> you don't have to. But it's probably can... probably get me killed. Yeah. You know what we could do? We can almost go to that gray building, the next gray building in the world, and, and hit that one if you want. Yeah. Okay, let's go to this one. Alright. Yeah, so actually, let's do this gray building on the left. Alright, ready? I'm gonna run over there. So what we could do here, like, so we'll breach, we'll open the door, cut the pie in, there's no open door, so we'll do this, for, we'll do door by door, we'll do this room first. So I'm going to take the door, so you can stack up. Hold up, uh, once we get in, I want to close this door behind us. Yeah, that's yeah. So what we can do is, um, actually, let's stack the other side. This is dangerous, but that's okay. Uh, so come on this side. So because now I'm going in from the right-hand side, I'm going to dig deep right, and you're going to go left. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Clear right. Clear left. And that's it. Beautifully done. That's it. That's 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 as simple as that gets. And then we can do the same thing here. So if you want to go first. Oh, there is an uh, open door right in front of us. All right, Roger that. So we'll get there. Go ahead and take. Let's own this room. Good. Clear left. Okay, clear right. Perfect. Let's do the next one. Which is probably going to be that open door. Now, when you're stacking up, stack tight to your right hand wall, like to the wall that you're going in on, like as tight as you can. So the guy behind you can cover. See, I'm actually looking down the hallway right now and covering this straight ahead. So when you're set, go ahead. Nice. Clear, clear left. 
All right, clear right. Move. There you go. Perfect. And same thing here. Oh, taking shots. Yeah, I'll do whatever she can do. Yeah, let's keep clearing this building. That's okay. So we're safe. Clear right. Clear left. Perfect. Go ahead. Clear right. Clear left. They're out. They're not too far out there. They're somewhat close. Yeah, I'd like to get uh, eyes on the bullet holes. It came. Th okay, so they haven't even hit through the window yet. No. I think he's over here more on the right. I see. Yeah. What's your What's the bearing on him? He's dead. Okay. He's over there by that rock. All right. All right. Where'd you Where you at? I was just trying to get a view on him from uh, another room. So we'll keep going. We'll still keep clearing this 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 building. So I'll I'll cover here left, and you go. There you go. Now stack behind you. you Clear go. right. Clear left. Good. And same thing. Clear left. Good. Clear right. Sweet. Nice. And then. Uh, we got this little door here. That one doesn't open. Oh, it doesn't open? Alright, so, okay, now we have stairs. Stairs are cool. The key with stairs is, is just never have two guns pulling in the same direction. You want, the key to anything in building, like, the, the basic, basic concept is heads up, guns up, 360 coverage, as much as you can. So as long as everyone's got that in their mind, you're going to be fine. So there's no sense in having two guns pulling in the same direction. So here, if I'm leaving one up the stairs, um, and I got this, this chunk of stairs here, there's really no point in you pointing your gun at this empty wall. You might as well have your gun pointed low, covering our backs, like this way, uh, down that way. And we'll slowly, and we can do the slow walk, so if you push W and S together, you slow walk, and, and just like tap them together, and then it, you should just walk slow. So I'm looking up, looking up, you're covering low, looking up, looking up, looking up, clear up, and we just keep going up the stairs. And we'll stop at the top. Right? Cool. So we got a short hallway forward, and then to the right we got a long hallway. And uh, I'm gonna cut the pie around the long hallway, and you're just gonna. When I cut the pie around the long hallway, you're just gonna take that short hallway forward, and okay. just, we'll just cover off each side. So good. We got some open doors here on the left. So let's uh, let's do some room clearing. I might. Um, I'm thinking let's take this room here just because it's open. So now we'll push the WS again so that we're walking a bit faster, and we're set on the door. So here we go. Clear left. And right clear right. Okay, let me shut this door. If I can. Oh, friggin' armor. There we go. Alright. So let's start let's take the rest of this building. Really now we can go either way. There's only two of us, so this kinda sucked. But so heads up guns so this is a good this is a good idea. See just even how you're standing there and you're looking down that hallway, just by that, that heads up guns up three sixty coverage, I'm not gonna look down that same hallway. I'm gonna look down by your back this way. So no matter where you are, you just don't want to be pointing in the safe direction until like we're about to go in the room, and then I'll then I'll probably just cover straight ahead. Okay, so Does which that yeah, that makes sense. So uh, we go straight ahead. There's really no good good way or bad way to do this building. We're you know we're shorthanded right only two guys. So now now that you're stacked on the door, when I stack behind you, I look down the hall. Good. That's okay. That's right, good. It's clear. Good. So let's go again. So I'm, there you go, we're stacked. And look, you see, hang on, in the stack, before we go in that room, look where I am. So you're stacked up to the door. I'm just slightly out to the right. Um, it's not 360 degree coverage, but it's... I, it's, it's Yeah, it's, you, you it's, won't it's, shoot me in the back of the head if someone shows up and you don't need to right. maneuver yourself. But if this was a four-man stack, the next guy, so, so you're man one, I'm man two. So if you're looking in that room, I'm looking down this hall. If I was man three, it's okay, you can't look at me, because you know where you're looking, right? You're looking in the doorway. If I was man three, I'd pop up over here, almost, um, and looking at this... God damn, I'm stuck. Looking uh, this way, like, into this room, because it's here. If this was just a blank wall, there'd be no, no point in me looking this way. And if I'm man four, I'm looking this way. And then that's where kind of communication uh, comes into play, like when you have a guy looking backwards, it'll be like uh, going or, or move, 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 or whatever. You cut out a bit. Or if, uh, or, or, um, 
if man three and four can go on either side of the door. But that's we'll, we'll probably never have a four man entry team in, in our in, despite the way we this clan kind of works. Um, it's mostly two man. So in two man, you just do the best you can. You're number one guy looking at the door. Number two, I'm just looking down this hall, and that's really as best as what we got. So you can go ahead and hit the room, and I, you don't even need to call because I can see you go. And I'm just gonna go shallow. But all right, let's clear. Good. That's exactly it. Left clear. Right clear. Good. Right clear. Left clear. Good. Really good. That's just, that's awesome. So that's uh that's basic room clearing. Then there's nothing proprietary about any of this. Like there's even a small write up on it in um, it's fine you. It's very limited. Like uh, in the uh, that Arma three tactical guide thing that what's his name put out that shadow attack guy. Think. Okay, there's even a small write up on it. Um, but yeah, that's basic. That's basic. Very, very basic. But it works. But it works. It works. It works all right for him. All right. All right. So how do we want to leave this building? Like to leave it? Like to? Like yeah. Like how? How? How are we gonna leave? Just to be safe. What? What way do you want to leave from? Well, we kind of like. I like this side. Like so, if we go back downstairs. Yeah, because we haven't taken fire on that side, right? That's right. And like I said, there's no... We got stairs again, so I'll look ahead. Um, and we, in this case, we know that upstairs is clear, so you kind of, you don't have to cover it. We can start um, both kind of pointing forward. But I'll kind of cover, because I'm cutting the pie around to our right, you can probably cover that doorway. And just communication is key, right? So like I got the, I got the right cutting, cutting the pie around the right, and you can cover that doorway until you can't see it anymore. And then we might have to switch, right? And it's just communications. That's all there is. And that's it. Uh, there's open doors at that warehouse up ahead. All right, so let's go do that one then. Um, oh boy, I don't have. I probably could do that warehouse, and then I gotta go. But uh, all right. But here, I'm gonna run across. No, I'm here. All right. And see, in here you can kind of use similar tactics. Cause even though we're outside, we have close quarters, right? <clears throat> we don't have to have like a roof over our heads to use it. So here, I'm gonna dig right, and you can dig left, just because that's our deep blind corner, right to the right. So same okay. thing applies. Oops, I should go faster. There, clear right. Left is clear. Excellent. Now let's stack up on this door. You go ahead and go first. Uh, ooh, I don't like this room. So left is clear. Okay. So that's okay. So you look left, which is good, right? I saw that there's nothing here on the right, so where I looked was long. So I looked, uh, like, where you're looking now. So when you come to this room, you know your your first man is your responsibility. Is Hold up, I got... That corner there. Oh, shit, you scared me. I I'm got sorry. a bad feeling about that corner anyways. There's an open door right at the end, and I know for a fact that door leads nowhere. All right, so what do you do here is just work the room. So... Basically, this is where you want one guy having a long cover, so uh, I'll cover long and you kind of cut. So I'm covering the right hand side and you kind of clear your office uh, group on the left. Okay. It's two minutes. There's no one in there. I, I, and we haven't talked about it yet, but in your BC team, you saw the room clearing. They wanted two guys to clear the two floors at the same time. I don't like that just because it, it kills situation awareness, right? Basically, if you only have two guys and you're in a building and they say there's two floors and doors and all this stuff, if you need to, you still want to own the bottom floor, <clears throat> like of that house, that first house with the glass front windows. And there was that, that doorway that I was looking at on the bottom floor, and Bruce went upstairs and cleared upstairs. I wouldn't clear both floors at the same time. If we want to hold that door on the bottom, one guy can stay down there and hold that door and just cover the door. And then Bruce can go upstairs and get clearing upstairs as best he can. But the cool thing about one guy just sitting still is that he can hear what's going on and has more situation there. So if Bruce starts taking fire or gets hurt or killed, it's you're more apt to have the guy at the bottom know what's going on and potentially even whether he goes up to help or backs out or calls, calls, you know. Um, 
something like that. So that's one thing I'm trying to change is like that even though it might be a two man engine team taking that room or taking that, that small house or whatever it is, that um that's <clears throat> that's just kind of a thing. But um I think they're expecting that both guys are kind of running like one guy's running around the bottom floor, one guy's running around the top. Yeah. Up and ending up in an engagement, one can't even help the other out, right? So it's it's one of those it's just one of those things we haven't talked about. It's just an idea. Obviously. Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Well, it's just one of those things. So here we're crisscross. So because you can see to my left and I can see to your right, if I go first, I'm just going to go to the right, and you're going to crisscross to the left, and now we'll both kind of stack up on this corner. Cut the plan in the corner. Corner's clear. Good. Then we got two rooms here. Tiny and the door suck. But what do you do? Nah, this one's clear. We don't need to have two guys going in. Yeah, good. Let me just shut this door. And that's it. But um, that's just the basic, basic kind of basic idea around. And, and <clears throat> everything works well in basics, right? Um, it wasn't really started until we started doing like formation training. That now people they naturally go into that wedge formation really good and you'll see in like the videos and whatnot people naturally fall into that that wedge whereas before people were just kind of all over the place in like a, a column of some sort you know weaving in and out of each other and whatnot but uh, the more we kind of get like a little tiny simple tactic you, you'll find people kind of just naturally do it and it'd be kind of cool like, if everyone kind of knows how to take a room when you had just have any two guys stack up to a room, if they just know automatically what to do, even though it's very basic and it might even be dirty, um, it's cool and it's safe and it, and it would still look good, like you know on film if someone was screen shooting it or something like that. So yeah, if I'm if I'm playing with uh, like Persona or Rubgotti, I'll probably they usually make me take lead anyway, so I'll probably show them what you showed me. Yeah, it's yeah. really really super duper easy tactics, and uh, they're not secret. They're you know. They're out everywhere, and, and uh, um, it's nothing really special about it. But that, the most common one is that button hook. There's that the that crisscross, or like uh, or that that cut the pie around the doorway. That's another one. But the most common you'll find is that bucket button hook because we'll, most common times we'll be on the same side, and that's and it works for arm. It works okay. Okay. But yeah. Anyway, cool. That was fun. I'm thinking this place is pretty clear now, but. Yeah. Still got to clear the rest of the buildings. I mean, if you got to go, I'll try to do it myself. Yeah, I'm gonna. But I do have to get going. Cause I got I got this wicked cough and a doctor's appointment. Um, and we, uh, little wife's got to go shop, so we're all gonna try and move it all together. So I do got to get going, but uh, so I'm starting to leave you here. <laughs> the ATV's up there, but uh, um, but yeah, man, that was fun. Yeah, thanks for playing and thanks for showing me stuff. Hey, man, no problem. No problem. Was all right, brother. I'm just gonna all right. Cheers, man. Cheers. Yeah, have a good day. You too. User disconnected from your channel. Alright, so if anyone's been watching this entire time, which I doubt anyone has been, um, well, I, I mean, I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, but yeah, so here comes the boring part of the video where Daglas either dies immediately after the expert leaves or successfully clears everything very boringly.
Ah, sometimes the movement in armor can be a bit of a bitch. You learn something every you learn something new every day and that's an important thing to to do to try to learn something new even if it's something that's just in a video game doesn't really matter you know that's something I wouldn't have known that could help me out you know anytime there could be a situation where I need to know that and I can teach other people even if it's just for fun But I am very boringly, you know, I don't think there's anybody left. I think we we pretty much got them all. Jay got a nice few guys. I got my fair share. Most of them were missiles, ki missile, uh, maybe, maybe half and half. Half missile kills, half uh, rifle kills. I am fucking this up by myself a little bit. And very lazily, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm just gonna leave. I think we're about good. I'm gonna head up back to the radio tower. I probably should check the rest of this shit, but I'll check it. Discipline and whatnot. Won't take me that much longer. Not gonna clear the factories and stuff. You'd be surprised how often you think something's clear and then all of a sudden you just start taking fire. But I'm only going to clear the bottom floor of this. You know, I'll just send this video to Rebel and ask, you guys are watching this, right? You know, just watching my lazy ass. Uh, yeah, I'm totally a good fit for Echo Company. I'm not even, you know, part of the clan yet. I'm, I'm the best. Way better than Jay. Running across like this is a stupid move, and I know it. There's still that one guy in the forest. I mean, he might have flanked, but he might have been one of the guys Jay killed. Let me take a look at the map here. There's a bit of a hill up there. It'd be really stupid of me, too, to leave if there's, like, mortars and shit around this area. I should at least check for something like that. Gotta head to the north a bit. There's no really tall building, so just that windmill. If I get lucky, maybe Soap or one of my other buddies will hop on. Soap or Roadblock, only two who could actually come pick me up. It's a broken vehicle, okay, I don't need to demo that. Oh, shit. I thought I saw a guy that was just stairs. Well, we're going to end the stream off with a bang anyways. I'll probably be back on later uh, once we are doing more EDW stuff. 
Uh, this is Echo Dy Is that intact? Oh, okay, that's not intact. <laughs> Actually, it might be intact. No. That's just a piece of scenery. It's a shame, I like to blow tanks up. A camo windmill, yeah. Inside. Come on. And it's clear. Yeah, this this place is pretty much cleared. Only problem is I can't actually All right, let's try doing something fun. Now, how do I just got to check to see how oh, I grab that? Is that an AGM? Maybe that's under grenades. No grenades left. Got to be an options for like plantable explosives. Not in that. Hmm. Configure controls. Hmm. Weapons. Change gunner weapon manual fire countermeasure that doesn't help switch handgun launcher fire reload infantry movement common I don't know how to use these No, that's sitting down. Get on up. Hmm. Just take a few shots at this with the AT then, I guess. We can blow it up. Yeah. We did it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys come back another time.